A big, big welcome to Steve's Kitchen. I can't believe I haven't made a caramel slice before on the channel. It's almost the national dish here in Australia. But I had a message just a week or so back from a long-term subscriber, Kelly, or Bramakin Girl, and she said, have I ever made a millionaire's shortbread? Well, I didn't even know what it was, but it turns out it's virtually the same as what we call a caramel slice. Now, Kelly, I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's very simple but I am going to gold plate it at the end because after all, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got some bling. We're gonna start with our base, which is super simple. I start with my soft brown sugar and my lightly salted butter, which I've slightly melted in the microwave. Now I'll put all the ingredients up on screen so you know how much to use. I'm just gonna whisk that together until it's nice and creamy. Then I'm going to add in my all-purpose flour and I'm going with shredded coconut. I would normally use desiccated coconut, which is a little bit sweeter, but I haven't got any. Shredded works just fine. And we're just gonna mix this together until we get a nice smooth dough. got a nine inch or 24 centimeter square tin, which I'm just lining with a little bit of paper. I've used some butter just to hold it down. Now just pour all the dough into the tray. And then using a spatula, I just want to um, flatten this out and get it nice and even. Now lastly, I'm just gonna take a crank handled spatula and just level over the base of the shortbread. I've just preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. That's 350 Fahrenheit. We're gonna pop this in and bake it for 15 minutes till we've got a lovely biscuit base. Now I've taken that out after 17 minutes. Different ovens will affect differently. I wanted a beautiful golden brown on top. We need this to completely cool down before we put the caramel on top. Uh, if you put it on there while they're both hot, you tend to get not such a nice division. So I'm gonna let this cool down and then I'm gonna chill it a little bit in the fridge. Whilst the base cools down, let's get to make our second layer, the caramel, which is also very simple. So I put my soft brown sugar into a saucepan and some lightly salted butter. We're then just going to heat this on the stove and let the sugar start to dissolve. In with that sweet butter, we're gonna add two cans of 395 grams, about 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. That's gonna make this wonderful caramel sauce. Now I'm just going to heat this on the stove until it starts to simmer. And just keep warming that till you get this wonderful silky caramel sauce. Now we can take that off of the stove, bring it over to our base, which has now cooled down. And then we can take that delicious caramel sauce and pour it over the base. Give that a little wobble. And then this goes back in the oven, same temperature, 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit. We're gonna bake this for about 20 minutes until we get a lovely golden brown. I almost left the caramel in a little bit too long there. I'm quite happy, it's still perfectly good. It's a little bit flirting with the edge of burnt, but it still looks great. I want this now to cool down completely before we put our chocolate layer on top. Now you get to choose the chocolate you like to put on top. I'm going with a milk chocolate. It's a 290 grams, about 10 ounces, which I'm gonna melt in a double boiler. I'm gonna put about an inch of water in a pan, a bowl on top, and we'll use that to melt the chocolate. I just think it works really well. Add about a tablespoon of oil in with your chocolate and that will just make the chocolate a little softer so that when you cut it, it won't crack. And now we've got this beautiful molten chocolate. So now we're gonna pour that chocolate over the top of our caramel slice. And then evenly spread it over the top of our caramel. Now normally with caramel slices, I like to do a little wavy effect on top of the chocolate. I'm gonna leave it fairly flat because I wanna put some gold bling on at least one or two slices of this. So let's let this chill down and come back in a moment. Now when the caramel slice has set, we're gonna trim off the salvage edges and then I'm just gonna take a knife and maybe cut this uh, about a couple of inches wide. And then we can just cut this into strips. And there you have the perfect caramel slice. Now I trimmed the edges off the caramel slices and made them into these beautiful individual caramel slices. Look how gorgeous they look. 
Now you can see this one on the top here is actually covered with 24 karat gold, real gold by the way. I was gonna film putting the gold on, man it was difficult. There's this tiny, tiny little thin gold leaf that you've gotta put on top of the chocolate and it's bending and blowing all over the place. It took me ages and many, many sheets to get that on there. If you haven't had gold on food before, it does work. It hasn't got a great flavor, a little bit metallic if anything, but we've got the bling now. We've got our millionaire shortbread. So I'm gonna give this a little try now. Thank you, Kelly, for the idea. Tuck in to a millionaire's shortbread. I'll cut a little bit off. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> Cutting through the gold. How pretty is that? I did promise I'd bling it up. Millionaire's shortbread, or what we like to call a caramel slice. One of my favorite coffee shop treats when I'm out in Australia. Here goes, give this a try. Mm. Oh wow. The taste is pure gold in more ways than one. This is so good. Of course, you don't have to put the gold plating on it. A straightforward caramel slice is so, so delicious. I hope you'll make them and give me some feedback. Send us some photographs if you decide to gold plate them. Definitely send me a picture. Be good and I'll see you for another Steve's Kitchen very shortly. Take care.